Hi, this is Leslie Davidson uh, with the artist as entrepreneur.com. I am going to be testing out a product by Pebio called Giddy or Getty or it's called Glazing Resin. Glazing Resin. Okay, um, I have never tried this before. What I really love about this product is the possibility that it will give you rounded edges at the edge and so instead of pouring over when you mix the proper amount you can help it go to the edge and then it goes to the edge and then stops and makes rounded edges. Now maybe this comes with many 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 practice times <laughs> I don't know. Um, you have A and B resins so you do one of A to two of B oh sorry two of A to one of B two A to one B and the way you figure out how much you need is that you um, multiply your length by your width and then divide by 0.2 or times by 0.2. Sorry, I'm not helping very much. Oops, and I keep hitting. I keep hitting it with my head. Um, okay, so this is a 6x6. Six six. So 6x6 six six is 36. And if you times it by 0.2, it equals out to 7.2. So these are demarcated in 10 millimeters, 10, 20, 30 milli milliliters. So I don't really understand what 7.2 equals. Does that mean I only mix 7.2 grams of what? Of each of them together as a total? How do I figure out what 7.2 is there? So I'm just going to fill it up to 10 grams um, for each of them. So uh, 10 A, 10 A plus 10 milligrams of B. Milliliters, not grams. I'm mixing in here because apparently you can clean this stuff up with soap and water. So that's pretty exciting. They do give you these gloves, which are actually making my hands sweat like mad. <sighs> my whole body is sweating now because I've got these plastic bags on my hands. Which I'd prefer not to do, but okay. So clear glazing resin it smells. Okay, that's ten mils. Okay, whoops, ten mils. Okay, so that's twenty of A. They give you a little popsicle stick here, which I think is great. Thank you for the popsicle stick. Now they recommend obviously really really good mixing but not too much or else you'll create bubbles. So I'm assuming there's no way to pop the bubbles once you make them. So be really really gentle with this as you're mixing. So oops that's A still. Close up A, put A away. I have enough A. Now I want one of B. This is the hardener. Okay, so that's the hardener. It's not too bad smell-wise. I should probably mix those. I mean, put water in them. Okay, so I'm mixing, 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 mixing. I've, of course, mixed bubbles into it already because apparently that's how I roll. <sighs> um, they recommend that once you mix it, you pour it into another container and mix it again, but because it's so molasses -y and thick, you lose uh, part of your your volume when you pour it into something else. And I'm clearly cheap and don't want to do that. Okay, so I've just created a big bubble fest here. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to mix it well 
and not create bubbles. I'm hoping that as it dries the bubbles will effervesce up to the top and not ruin my piece of art. Okay, so this is ready to pour. Now, they say to work on a level surface, which of course I'm not. My drafting table is slightly angled towards me. Now, apparently you're supposed to be able to spatula this out evenly to the edges and it will create a beautiful rounded edge which would be awesome oh my god I forgot to spray fix this this is watercolor this could be interesting this is watercolor um, with a uh, Pentel brush pen outline, which I forgot to spray fix before I I did this. However, it doesn't seem to be um, bleeding at all, so that's pretty awesome. I keep hitting my head on the camera. Okay, so it's 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 pretty easy to to move around. Um, it's definitely not going to make the the rounded corners on its own. You have to bring the product to the very edge of your canvas but then it doesn't go over and it's actually doing a really good job of that like all the other resins that I viewed would have just been pouring over the edge by now so this is pretty cool I think though obviously you might have a little bit of trouble if you put too much on sorry I don't know if I'm lifting it too high sorry oh there we have a spillage I brought too much over. Hmm. That actually looks pretty good. I'm suitably impressed so far because it is literally like just going right to the edge and and curving right at the edge that's really awesome and all my bubbles are gone huzzah <laughs> okay uh, that is crystal glazing uh, glazing resin by Pebio so that's pretty awesome uh, I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back uh, tomorrow because it takes about 25 hours to cure completely through, about six hours to the touch and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, see you then. Hi, so this is the finished result of the um, uh, glazing, what was it, the Pebio no, seriously, what was it? Pebio, 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 Pebio. Glazing resin. Oh, should have known that. Okay, so this is the result of the Pebio glazing resin, the one that had the um, the beveled edges. Now, the beveled edges are not what I had hoped that they would be. And it's mostly because this is a canvas and is flexible. Okay, so this stuff gives you the best results when your surface is completely flat and rigid, like a wooden support or a masonite board or a canvas panel. 
um, this buckled and I don't know if you can see it let me see if I can get a, a shiny part okay I don't know if you can see that right in the corner that's a crazing line um, from where the product poured into the middle basically went to the the lowest area which was this middle that was sloping and so dried around here quicker than it dried on the inside it also poured over the edge here um, and made a big wallop here <laughs> that now I cut it off and I'm gonna paper this so it's not gonna be that big a deal but I probably won't use this again for canvases even though I did mount a board on top of this it still was too flexible for this to perform properly okay so I can't get this off um, I could try maybe razoring it down and then repainting it or not razoring but sanding down um, and then repainting it but I also need to uh, varnish the edges but so that's glazing resin um, I'm gonna probably try it again on a solid support because I liked what it was doing it just didn't work on this okay thanks for watching I really appreciate it um, you are the reason that I'm doing these experimentations and I love it so thanks for watching I'll see you later